Welcome back. It's campaign season and promises are flying around. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has apologized to the government and the people of Benue State over the killings of innocent citizens of the state by headsmen in the past seven years. The former vice president, who stated this during his campaign to the state, vowed to ensure that peace returns to the rabid communities of the states if elected as the president of the country. Jide, it hasn't been too chummy between uh, Vice President Atiku Abaka and Governor Rotom. And by extension, the rhetorics have been coming out from these states for some time. Now Atiku is now apologizing. He needs their votes. He needs it. And um, the governor stayed away from his campaign. Um, hmm. The That's chairman, the, fact, the same party. Yeah, the same party. The chairman was begging the governor to return to the fold to support Atiku. You know, everywhere you go, how you promises that the issues raised are going to be addressed. But mm -hmm. you and I know that he has no plan to address those issues. He's more concerned about retaining his, retaining his chairmanship. So. Um, whether Governor Tom will listen is, uh, is, uh, is a question whose answer is blowing in the wind. But one of the painful realities of the present era is how headsmen, criminal headsmen, have turned a lot of Benway people into destitutes. Mm. There are no less than 12 IDP, IDP camps in Benway State. Eight of them are, that are official. But there are others that are not even official IDP, IDP camps, but people are there. There are at least 2 million IDPs in Benway As because they've sacked so many communities. Even up to Makodi North, changed people away from their ancestral. Uh, homeland, you take take over their land, you kill people, you burn their houses. So they 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 they, they have no other choice but to succumb to life of uh, destitution. Nobody wants to be a destitute in this country at a time when we are not fully at war. When when I say fully at war, I'm, uh, I agree that part of what we are going through to understand looks like warfare where people are fired at, where people's crops are destroyed, where people's homes are set ablaze, and they can't come back. Some have lost their communities forever. You go to uh, Plateau State, there are many communities that have been taken over, and the people aren't going back to those communities. Nobody wants to see this. Atiku has promised that, is, that in 2001, he got the Hausa, I mean the Fulani and the thieves to sign a peace deal. And at this time around, if he becomes president, he will come back and sign another peace deal. And that he wants to see peace return to Benway State. That is what he's saying. But the question is, what is the point in signing peace deals that after a while, you see people resort to violence, killing one another again. What is going on in Benue? A lot of our people don't know. I see people simply try, uh, trivializing mm. the agony of the governor. People think that, oh, this whole thing is just, oh, because, of, likes to talk. because of Tom does not want to pay salary. Mm. They do not go, they've not gone to Benue to see the, to see, IDP can see the multitude in IDP camps mm. is, is such a big problem for people who are peasant farmers to lose their farmlands. The memory. And that they can't even, you can't. Uh, uh, the other day, the, uh, one of the aides of the governor was talking about many people who are born in the IDP camps. Mm. It's such a huge number. Those people, those families never intended to be living in IDP camps. For a man who is married to his wife, any time duty calls, he does what he, the, by the social contract, 
He does what he's supposed to do to his wife. That's jobless. Uh, 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 not thinking about where the they found themselves. Yes. Mm. So I'm saying that let, let people think of the number of IDPs in Benue State and stop this idea of simply trivializing a governor's um, a constant complaint about the fact that his people are being killed. Mm -hmm. To limit the argument simply to, oh, it's because he can't pay salary, is very cruel. Mm -hmm. You need to go to Benue State and see how many people are in IDP counts. If the population is 7.5 million IO and 2 million are IDPs, mm -hmm. that should tell you the extent the of the problem. People. And we, we are not supposed to be, to be uh, trivializing these things. I think Atikwa Baka is, um, is um, because he needs their votes. He's getting this kind of commitment. And I don't think the people of Benue will trust him. Well, I think the great religions of the world, you know, preach forgiveness. Um, for him to have sought forgiveness is a way to admit that some wrongs were committed. However, there are some forgiveness that you seek that people will begin to doubt whether it is born out of your conviction. I think that it's a general feeling that he has not done enough. He's a title, he's a, he's a, he holds a honorary title in TV land, Atiku. And people feel that when these killings were going on, that he should have, and he's a statesman, he's well respected former vice president, mm. that he didn't do enough. He didn't visit the place. The Labour before. Party president aspirant was there by a prior candidate. Labour, uh, you know, Peter Obi. Wiki was there, he gave them a lot of money. A lot of people, even from APC, were there, visited the camp. For these years, people are being killed, and you are from Adambawa, a neighboring state. It's not just about promising that you are going to do this and all. What did you do these past years? We are talking about almost 2 million people in refugee camps, about a third of the population of that state. I think we have another so, caller. Thank you for joining us, Lizzie. Uh, good day. Okay. My GDP talks a lot By on us. all the issues raised. Okay. Uh, the PDP issue is very funny because uh, for you to be suspending highly placed candidate, uh, candidates and aspirants at this time is very unfortunate because you need all the votes. All votes matter. And these are senators, former governors who have capacity, who are followers, and they play a lot in the politics of the state. So for the PDP chairman, instead of thinking of how to not to be the Jonah in the ship, he doesn't want to remove himself out of the quagmire, but he really wants to be removing others. It's so sad. This is a party that pride itself very high. And to look at what it has cost the party. It has cost the party five governors across the country, from the south where Sheba is there, from the south, uh, which is there, from the north central, the Benue governors there, and the eastern governors are there. And look at now, they've gone to Enugu to go and pick up pocket, go to Ekiti. Everywhere they are fighting. He's really in fighting, and it's so sad. And these are 13 days to the election. You need to be very coherent and consistent. So moving forward to the issue of uh, these uh, people going to Benway to look for all these things, these are things that would have been done long before now. The killings, the number of persons that have died in this state because of this insecurity are immeasurable. So coming to election period, people going to pay court court, paying visits, trying to pacify the citizens, it has to be sincere. In Nigeria, we should begin to look at sincerity of purpose. Mm -hmm. What should be in the heart of your mind? What are you doing it sincerely? Because actually... Like... Thank you, Izzy. Yeah. Thank you, Izzy, for making mm -hmm. that point. That mm -hmm. it's, so, uh, you know, mm -hmm. people will believe, um, rightly so, that I think it's just playing lip service, mm -hmm. you know, to the atrocities that have been committed against the people of the Benue State. <coughs> and I think I commend that the governor of Benue State for being conscientious. He decided to stand with his people. Mm -hmm. And coming from the same party with you, and all this year you've done, you've, you've done nothing, practically nothing. Mm -hmm. Even this campaign, did he visit the IDP camp? He didn't. So I don't think nobody will take him serious. He should just forget about Benue State. If I'm from Benue State, I won't vote for him. <laughs> We've not started but while they are just the the OM party is very important and uh, mm. the timing is also mm. very important. Mm. You know, OB Benue was one of the worst affected states mm. when this flooding happened, you know. Yes. Uh, and the OB went there, mm. they saw him in a canoe, mm. you know. People 
must know that at that time he was the first to go there. So he did it for a reason. Even if you say oh, Obi was pretending, he had the heart to go and see those people and feel their pain. I'm saying how many people have gone to those IDP camps. Because there is a big IDP problem in Benue. I've been there, I've been to the camp, I know what I'm talking about. And it is real. Even the governor's local government, Guma, hundreds of people have fled Guma. You can't farm in peace. There are very few local governments in Benue that are not affected by these killings. Very few local governments. That is the truth. And no one knows when it will stop. Farmers and headsmen can cohabit in peace. They can cohabit, but it is not, it, there is no reason to kill one another. You want to till your farm and reap bountifully from your farm. You have your cattle. You also want to graze, you know, cattle to find the right pasture for your cattle. You, it doesn't mean you should kill people. This is the point. There is a problem you must feel for those people. You must feel for people who have been forced to leave their homes Ooh. for no fault of theirs because of these killings. Even right up to the border with a boy, those killings are going on. Those killings are going on. When they killed people the other day, the governor of a boy, he went to that border community and, and burst into tears. Mm. Whatever will make an adult and a VIP to cry in public, you know that that pain is severe to that person. I remember when Governor Tom went to a particular... Uh, in fact, they went to kill people, even in an IDP camp. Mm. I, I'm sure you remember. Yeah. In an IDP mm. camp, they went to kill people. The governor was nearly killed. The governor, well, the was, governor close, was, he was close to breaking down. Because what, what else do you want from, from people? They fled their homes for you. They are in IDP camps, and you still went to kill them inside uh, their, their temporary habitation. This is how bad this is. It's not just, this is not a, just simply a matter of, oh, because he can't pay salary, that every one time he wants to draw attention to himself, he talks about, is it not real that they are killing people? Now, as Article not now seen the problem and said, look, I want to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. When well, you vote for me, I'm going to do my best to restore Benway to his glory and ensure that agriculture is promoted uh, in Benway State. Mm. How, can, how can agriculture not suffer when people, probably the most fertile state in our country, is going through this kind of uh, routine killing of innocent people? I mean, it, it, it has to stop. It All has right. To stop.